and time. Hello, judges. My name is Alex, and I'll be serving you coffee today. The coffee industry is constantly changing. We're always finding new and exciting ways to make great coffee. But what's really exciting is that coffee itself is constantly changing. It's incredible to think that most varietals outside of Ethiopia came from one tree. And with each new varietal, we get new and exciting characteristics to experience. And this is why I'm excited to share two varietals with you today from the Santa Patrona farm in El Salvador. The Bourbon and the Pax. Now the Pax is just a natural mutation of the Bourbon. So what I want you to experience today was that evolution between Bourbon and Pax. We're gonna start off today with cappuccinos with the Bourbon. Please expect almond with cocoa and a cream mouthfeel, a creamy mouthfeel. Thank you. And you may use the white ramkins for your spoons. Technical judges, I'll be starting off with my cappuccino. Varietal brings new and exciting characteristics. For example, this Bourbon is a much larger plant than the Pacus, and therefore, Federico Pacus, the farmer of the Santa Patrona, used the Para system, which involves binding one branch to the ground to encourage new growth on top. The Pacus, since it's so much smaller, is just simply trimmed every year, or every five years, I mean. Here you are. Let's enjoy. Thank you. Another example of this is that the Bourbon is a much denser bean, full of more sugars in the packets. So while we were roasting, we gave the bean more development time to allow those sugars to develop.
are different, there are some similarities there as well. Both coffees were fully washed, and both coffees were given very short post-first crack development time. So the major differences in taste would be because of the varietal. Here you are, please enjoy. These flavors again for you judges will be almond, cocoa, and a creamy milk. Here you are. Please enjoy. I'm just going to do some preparation for my signature beverage. I'll be turned in one moment. Thank you. All right, put your hands together for Alex's cappuccinos. body, a lime acidity, a malt sweetness, and a botanical complexity. Please remember these tasty notes because we'll need to re uh, recall them for the signature beverage. Go prepare that for you right now and be right, right back. Put your hands together for Alex's espresso. Technical judges, I'll be pulling three shots for my signature drink, all of which will be served to the judges. Thank you. 
I wanted to do for my senior degree was get you, you to experience that change from Burpon to Pacus. And I noticed three major differences between the two. The Pacus had more acidity, more complexity, and a lighter body. So first, I have some Burpon here. We're going to lighten it by diluting it just a little bit, just to open up those flavors. Now don't drink these just yet, because secondly, we're going to take the same Bourbon Espresso, but this time, we're going to evolve it in just small changes, like our mutation. So I have a juniper and lime infusion here, and that's going to do a few things. The juniper is for complexity, the lime for acidity, and the infusion itself will lighten the body. Finally, after this, we will use some simple syrup to enhance all of those flavors. Now, you may try the bourbon to your left. It will be sweet with caramel and chocolate. Be a nice espresso, but after you try that, please try the evolved bourbon to your, to your right. This bourbon, with the complexity of the botanical, the juniper berry, the acidity of the lime, and the lighter body, is now become the packets. With just a few small changes, we can change the coffee world. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been great. And time. Join us again for Alex. Woo!